Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. I am back with two prophetic messages that I received this morning. Uh, keep in mind that these energies I really believe that are happening now, but I kind of get the feeling of one of them may kind of, uh, kind of drag out into like around about the time of a uh, Halloween, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But anyway, so uh, keep that in mind. So for um all of you that are new to my channel i just want to say welcome and for those of you who are returning back i want to say welcome back um for those of you who do not know i'm an intuitive clairvoyant hayoka empath who receives divine prophetic dream messages i also receive intuitive messages as well too um throughout the day as well as intuitive messages through music as well too so anytime i post a song in the description box or if i tell you that there's a song there uh if you feel like it resonates with you you should probably go listen to it because usually that's a song of what energies that we're kind of dealing with like right now just either pertaining to the collective or whether it's pertaining to something personal that is to you whether it's a romantic relationship or just something that you could be possibly experiencing um anyway so i am also a reiki teacher and i'm also a reiki practitioner as well too so and i'm all i'm also other things as well too but anyway so um i am here to be a service doing this shift um in regards to you know uh doing away with the old way of things and incorporating the age of aquarius into um existence so anyway um yes so i'm just doing my part as i'm supposed to be doing as well too um sometimes i don't exactly know what i'm doing but that's just a part of going with the flow anyway so with that being said um hopefully that is inspiring somebody somewhere so anyway let's keep in uh let's move right along <laughs> anyway so the message that i received this morning was um it was as if i was walking down the street and i could hear imagine like if you've ever seen like a group of people kind of running running with each other whether it's a group of moms walking together with a bunch of strollers or people jogging or people riding bikes should i say but just imagine like one group leader kind of like telling them what to do next in a sense like okay we're going to turn left up here at the corner as an example you know you just pretty much hear one person speaking so anyway in the dream i heard somebody coming at a distance so i knew somebody was coming to kind of turn back to look to see but i couldn't really see because they they was just that far back so anyway with that being said as they got closer i had noticed that one person had kind of for some particular reason i knew that they were with this group even though i didn't see them um with this group but uh, somehow i knew that they were with the group so i say all that to say that um the person kind of came over to where i was because i was on the sidewalk and i was walking in that direction they was coming in the same direction i was but they i felt like they were in the street and so um nevertheless i heard some somebody came over towards me and the first thing that they they i, I got a feeling like I can't remember exactly what they were doing, but I knew that they was they were like bullying me in a sense, because that's the first thing that came to my mind um, in the dream. Like I felt like they were trying to bully me in a sense. So, um, and their group had not caught up with them yet, but as this person was doing this, but and then all of a sudden I saw their group catching up. In other words, to where this individual had strayed away from the group, so they caught up to where. Uh, the other person was speaking to me in the off to the side and then next thing you know so we was on one side of the street and then all of a sudden the scene had switched so it went from being on the left side of the street to switching to the right side of the street and I say all that to say somehow when I switch when it switched scenes I was sitting in my car and I was talking to like the group leader and I somehow brought to her attention I said hey yeah I just wanted to bring to your attention like you know this person was like really bullying me and so on and so on and I, I didn't care for that and I couldn't really remember everything exactly that I said to her but I knew I just told the group leader what was happening and I didn't care for it too much and I thought that she should know about it and I think it was so much to see if it would if she was gonna kind of hold them accountable just to you know something like that I don't know but I just knew that I had basically expressed my feelings and emotions to the group leader and just basically told her what this person was doing and um you know that they were bullying me so I say all that to say her response to me was she basically said um she said to me So she listened to everything that I had to say, and then she told me that um, that I will talk to the girl. She told me that she would talk to the girl, and she said basically because she doesn't tolerate that type of behavior, I guess, 
you know, wherever it was, but take it how it resonates because it's going to be different for everyone. So for some of you, it could be work. For some of you, it could be a family situation. For some of you, it could be a friend situation, a group of people that you, um, but somehow in a dream, I didn't know these people, but some, and even, thank you, Spirit, it could even be somebody just on the outside of you not knowing them kind of doing this in a sense. So uh, keep that in mind because everybody's situation is going to be different. So anyway, uh, co-worker is what I'm hearing too. So it, the dream wasn't over with yet. So after I was done talking to her and speaking to her in my car, um, it, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is bringing it to my attention that the car was a representation of your, because I was in my car sitting behind the stern wheel and she was sitting on the passenger side kind of like with the door cracked as i was you know explaining to her and telling her what was taking place well the car was a representation of i was choosing to um i was choosing to control where i wanted the situation to go in other words so in other words me telling this director or the who leader leader whoever this person was so for some of you could be boss supervisor co-leads leads uh group leaders i don't know take it how it resonates but um so anyway so some of you okay let me not go there yet so anyway it's it switched the scene yet again so the scene had switched again so this time it seemed like as as if like okay i forgot to mention this so before i started talking to the group leader and explaining to her we were actually on the left side of the street and i told her it was like hey i want to you know talk to you you know let you know like what to let you know what some of your uh group members or one of your group members is doing um whether you know it or not so we was on the left side of the street when that happened on the right side of the street um when i started talking to her the individual who i was talking about who was doing the bullying all of a sudden she walked away because like she knew i was getting ready to have a conversation i guess she didn't want to stand there to hear what it was that i had to say um but then she walked away but then she came back but when she came back the scene had switched so the switch the scene had switched as if we was like a at an office party in a sense because i kind of got the feeling like well, what she did was the girl who left, she left, she came back and she came back with some food. So when she came back with food, it's like the people in the office, I kind of looked over into the pot. If it, uh, Bear with me because <laughs> it, it was just switching scenes. It was just letting me know. Anyway, so when she came back to where me and the, the team leader was at, somehow we switched seats. I saw her coming back carrying food. So then we switched scenes and it, it was like as if it was in an office, like in an office party or something. And this time at the office party, the food that she came back with was food that she had fixed. So I just so happened, I looked over into the pot to see what it was that she had fixed. And I took the spoon and I kind of stirred around thinking to myself, what is this? And in the side of the pot, it was spaghetti, but it wasn't red sauce it wasn't red sauce so that was just letting me know like it was halloween in a sense so uh, i guess the energies can be kind of going up that far or whatever but anyway so um either it's a situation of dealing with up to halloween time possibly or it's a situation of it's just a situation that some of you guys are dealing with um in general but anyway if that makes sense so anyway but i say all that to say when i looked into the pot i saw that it was spaghetti noodles in there so it was like one of those big pots like you fix like soup in and i you know looked over into the pot to see what was in there it was spaghetti noodles in there but and i thought to myself this is strange because it was spaghetti noodles but then it was like grape jelly in there that was supposed to be in place of the uh, um in place of the sauce so that's what was leading to me to believe like it was like around halloween time or whatever because i got the feeling of you know that the meat there instead of having meatballs in there there was like little eyes in there you know how people do halloween pranks and they put the little eyeballs in there and you know as you know uh you, you, you know how they do like little Halloween decorations with food, with stuff like that. But anyway, so it was, a, it was a pot of spaghetti with the noodles. And instead of it being the red sauce, it was grape jelly. And it was stirred and it was a lot of it. And then it was the eyeballs was in the, and it wasn't real people's eyeballs, y'all. I knew it was fake eyeballs. <laughs> so I just want to let you know that they were fake eyeballs. So 
and I knew as I went over there to stir the pot to see what that was, this was after she came back with the food now. Um, I thought to myself, I was like, I'm not eating that. She fixed that and she was already being nasty towards me. And I was like, I don't know what she put in there <laughs> is what I said to myself. So I just want to give y'all FYI, just be mindful who you guys eat from. Anyway, so with all that being said, let me give you some representation and some symbolism of some of the things that was in the dream to help you better understand. Cause I know I had to kind of Google spiritual meaning of spaghetti. I know that the spaghetti news are kind of all over the place, you know, and how we can just go any and everywhere, but I had to get a little bit more in depth meaning. So anyway, um, so the, the spaghetti itself could be a sign that you, could be a sign that some of you may find yourself entangled in messy situations because remember i said that there was the noodles i knew that they were all over the place if you think about spaghetti noodles they slide here they slide there especially when you're trying to clean them off after cooking them and you know just when you stir them they're just all over the place they entangle to each other especially if you don't um stir it correctly when they're um boiling or whatever but anyway so some of you guys may be finding yourself entangled in messy situations and relationships and uncomfortable positions. The uncomfortable position could possibly mean like when I went to the leader to tell the leader what the other uh, uh, other person was doing, should I say. And again, take it how it resonates. Everybody's situation is going to be different. Um, so the representation of the, the, the eyeballs in a dream was a representation of your your of your own soul which is being called to understand principles of life and having integrity so if there's a situation that some of you guys need to stand up for yourself and speak for yourself because you've been that person that just kind of sat back and allowed people to do what uh whatever it is that they you know kind of like you know because there's sometimes people do undercover bullying bullying excuse me and sometimes some bully is kind of settled without you even know it and then some bullying is just like just right there in your face it's like oh you know you're just like mean so be mindful that too so just because someone doesn't come and is showing like you know uh you do this and you do that you know that type of bullying doesn't necessarily mean that people can't bully undercover you know i've i had certain situations um i didn't tell you guys about this this is an example but this happened to me and my daughter last week when we went to a safeway store and and I was like, what? So anyway, with that being said, it was a situation of her and I was standing um, near like the produce sections, you know, getting some spinach or whatever the case may be. And, and, and I noticed this lady when I walked into the store, she had this red nail polish on her hand. It's not the fact that she had, but it's just like, you know, like I said, y'all, sometimes, you know, I'm in... I'm, I'm intuitive to the point that spirit just points out certain things to me, even when I'm not even looking for them, should I say. So where some people maybe think, oh my God, that's so extreme or whatever the case may be, that's just, that's just my path. And, you know, spirit points out certain things to me, but it's a matter of me having to make sure I just keep those things within balance or whatever, and, you know, not to act upon everything, but just to observe what it is that I'm seeing. So anyway, just with the fact that she had the red nail polish on that really stood out or whatever, and then she was picking up these two fruit parfaits and I, and I was thinking to myself, and she was looking at the fruit parfait, and the first thing I thought to myself, um, first thing I thought to myself was, I, I really hope that she's giving somebody parfait that she really cares about and not somebody that she's trying to manipulate. And, I, you know, I didn't even know the lady, and I wasn't passing judgment on her. That's just what was coming up. So I say all that to say, later... Uh, a few minutes later, we walked to the other end of the side of the store. And I was like, oh, wait, I, f I didn't even get what I came in here to get. So we walked back to the produce session. And this time she literally like, and I had a buggy like in between an aisle. And this was like a little small place in the little produce session, a, po uh, a small space. And then there was like uh, the little parts where they have like, let's just say bananas up on like the little stands, you know, like in the middle of the uh the aisle or whatever the case may be but anyway she chose to squeeze in between this um this really small space y'all when i tell you it was really small it was really small it was like the same situation that i had to deal with in regards to like my neighbor should i say like when she was just that close to my son and i looked at her and i was like okay is, is she like at first i was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt and um i was just like okay is she being funny 
And then she walked past. I didn't say anything, you know, the first time. But then when I came back, I purposely moved the buggy a little closer to where I was standing at, meaning like this space would have been so small. Like she literally squeezed through this space like she really was doing this on purpose. And whether she was doing it on purpose or not, as I told you guys before in a previous video, like there, there are people who are have like demonic energies with them. And I know some of you guys don't want to hear that because I know it's so much stuff that's coming up and going on with people that it may come off as if it's sounding negative. But the truth of the matter is I'm making you guys aware when people are operating in in a lower uh, vibration um, that makes room for uh, demonic energies to come in. So I say all that to say, depending on where you, where your, where your frequency is, um, if your frequency is at, as I said before, just, uh, this is a, just an example. If your frequency is someone who drinks a lot, well, guess what? Those are going to be demonic energies that come, you know, in the force of, because you're resonating at that energy level for them to come in in other words so i say all that to say when the lady um came back past she went past us when she squeezed through the first time the second time she came back and i purposely put the buggy that way just to make sure that she wasn't doing it on purpose she literally came back the same direction she came and she literally squeezed through this this small area and i looked at her i was like are you are you serious i was like are you serious but i say all that to say when she walked past it was like spirit said speak up you know, and I looked at her because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just me. Because I know sometimes with me being Aquarius, you know, I don't... If things are bothering me, I usually say what's on my mind or whatever the case may be. But it, it wasn't this... It This was a matter of um, me making sure that I was... Okay, so I was listening to my intuition, but it was a matter of... Spirit was just like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait and see because just to make sure that I was seeing what exactly I was supposed to see so that's why I didn't say nothing the first time but then she did it again the second time and that's when I was meant to speak to her so when she came back and, and when I say she was so close she was really so close she came back the second time and I basically told her I said you know I was like you know you ever heard of social distancing I was like that's not six feet apart and then not only that but she had on medical uniform oh, uh, medical uh I felt like let me say scrubs. I'm going to say scrubs. So she could either work at a dentist's office, a doctor's office, um, or urgent care, or somewhere in the hospital, whatever the case may be. But the point of the matter is, I felt like she knows better. So, and even if she doesn't know better, which she should, because I'm sure people, you know, people are wanting people to stay at a distance and, you know, so on and so on. But anyway, so I said something to her and I said, I said, um, you know, you squeezing through this little small space right here. And I was like, you couldn't go around. I was like, all that space over there. And she was like, and then I told her, I said, you, and then she was like, I, what'd she say? She's, she said, I go where I want to go. And I looked at her and I said, yes, you're right. You can go where you want to go. Cause I, first thing I thought to myself, I can't control anything outside of myself, but I can't control her being that close within my, my space, should I say. So with all that being said, she just kind of stood there and looked at me like, like something was wrong with her. It, it, anyway, I say all that to say, and I told her, I said, you know better. You work within the medical field, so you should know better than to do stuff like that. And then she kind of stood there for a little bit. My daughter ended up saying something to her as well, too, and she kind of just walked off. So it was just like, I was like, it's crazy. So, you know, sometimes we're being divinely guided to speak up because, as I said before, just make it really brief and quick. Some of us have experienced some things in past life with other people that people have taken advantage of us. And in this lifetime, all that shit is coming up to the surface. If you guys watched that video when I said there was somebody using a toilet i forgot what it's called when i said something about all the stuff is coming up imagine somebody pooping and using a toilet and it coming out of the sink well it has to come out somewhere so in other words whatever was in the sink it's whatever was in the toilet was coming out of the sink so everything is coming up to the surface for people to deal with and to heal 
So again, I know in certain situations, people may look at it as like, oh my God, like she seems like she's negative. You know, that's just your perception. That's why it's so important not to judge people during this time because you don't understand what their path is. My path is for me to speak up and to say certain things to certain people who have done certain things to me in past lives that was meant to be corrected in this lifetime. Again, that's why it's so important not to judge because God has shown me the different peoples, the things that they have done and things that I have tolerated and and it's God is like no no more you know you you need to deal with those things so yes there will come a time when you need to speak up and there will come a time that you need to um it's almost like um what's the word it's having self-respect for yourself in other words you know not allowing other people to just wipe their feet off on you and disrespect you in other words so it's not about power or it's not about ego it's just about standing up for yourself well some of us have been so oh that's okay i'm sorry you know i forgive you you know yes we should forgive people but just because you forgive people does not mean that you have to go back and be friends with them especially if they are doing the same thing that they was doing before the key is allow them to heal fix their self and if they were meant to come back into your life they will come back into your life if they weren't meant to come back into your life your life sometimes is for a minute, uh, uh, a season, and sometimes their season is up and they have to go. So keep that in mind as well, too. But anyway, I don't want to get off topic, okay? But Spirit just wanted me to give you that example. And then the other thing in regards to just seeing the spaghetti is a, a pre-notion for your understanding of your relationships with others and how, and how you present and how your presence, excuse me, how your presence affects them. It is time to mind your own business. You need to communicate you need to communicate something important and urgent to whoever it is that you need to. The dream symbolizes hope, knowledge and productivity. Something is passing you by. So for those of you who may have something that you need to address and you're not addressing it, um <laughs> Let me give you an example. This is what spirit is bringing to my attention. So obviously it's something I need to share. I give you an example. If this is a situation of a romantic situation that some of you guys are not doing what it is that you need to do, I say all that to say. One time I had this session uh, with this with this guy. He came to me for a Reiki session. So I say all that to say that he we, we kind of had a conversation after the session or whatever the case may be. And we kind of talked about the session or whatever. And then it just so happened that um, he was talking about we got on the topic about uh, relationships or whatever the case may be. And then I had basically asked him, um, and the need I remind you, this is somebody that I used to, to go to school with or whatever the case may be. So I say all that to say that uh, we we had a conversation and then I basically asked him, I said, well, whatever happened to the person that, you know, you was dating during this time or whatever the case? I was like, whatever happened to them? And he kind of explained to me. And, and let me just give you the, thank you, Spirit. Let me just give you the dynamics because this is what Spirit is pointing out. So this individual was meant to be that I know of, but I'm just giving an example. This individual was meant to be with this specific person, but what had happened was apparently the two of them had stayed together and it was so weird. I was like, oh, God. So the two of them stayed together. And it just so happened that they had kind of too much stuff was going on in their relationship. So as he explained to me that his she his her mom stayed across the street and he stayed across the street. So apparently I don't know if he met this person because that's how that's where they lived at or whatever. But anyway, so the person stayed across the street and, you know, from where they lived at. But and then he mentioned to me, he said, I said, well, what happened? Then he said, well, you know, because so much stuff was going on. Then he mentioned to me that she basically moved um, in with her mom or whatever, which was across the street. Now, how, 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 how odd is that, that you have to um, deal with the situation that you see somebody that you would in having a romantic relationship with, you see them across the street, but then it's like, you know, just to be able to see, and if... Anyway, just to see what they're doing, in other words. So that makes, anyway. So I say all that to say, he basically told me, I said, I said, so what, what happened once they moved out across the street? And he was, and he was just telling me, he told me that how he really loved this person and how he really wanted to be with them. But 
what he was doing was, and, and I knew it right off the back as he was explaining, he was playing mind games with her in a sense. Like, so it wasn't the fact that he didn't want to be with her. He wanted to be with her, but he was just, his pride and his ego was not allowing him to do so. And his pride and his ego allowed him to um, find himself in a situation that even currently now, um, currently now, like three years ago, I don't, I don't know where he's at now with the situation, but three years ago, not being happy in a current relationship that he was in. So I say all that to say that, um, he had mentioned to me, he's like, he said that I said, well, how long did y'all do that for that? She stayed across the street from, you know, your mom's house. I was like, that that gotta be hard, especially for her anyway. And he was like, like five years. And I was like, oh my God, I was like five years. And he was like five years. So I was like, so in other words, you was playing games with her because you didn't want to let your guards down and so on and so on. And, you know, and he said it wasn't, but I knew that it was. And his ego was involved. He wanted to control the situation. He wanted to control the dynamics. And basically what I'm hearing spirit say is he wanted to basically teach her a lesson, but it ended up teaching him a lesson in the end. Um, so with all that being said, um, some of you guys got choices to make and depending on how you navigate those choices is totally up to you. But just know that uh, opportunities only come once in a lifetime. Anyway, so let me move on to the next uh, message because I don't want to make this long. I got like five minutes left. So anyway, the next dream came as if this was like, let's just say like my spouse had, I guess must have called me and told me that they were coming over to, to pick something up. Well, it just so happened that he he came over and for some reason I knew he was outside. I didn't hear, I don't think I heard a horn or anything, but I knew he was outside. And because I knew he was outside, I was saying to myself, I choose not to take something outside to him. Uh, so what ha ended up happening was he ended up having to come inside to get whatever it was that he needs. So I don't know who that message is for, but... Um, like I said, it just came in a form as if it was happening to me, but that's not my situation. So I say all that to say uh, in any of these message, uh, just keep in mind, take what resonates and now's the time to speak your truth and, you know, not allow people to bully you to you know especially if you that's something that you've been dealing with for some time and even if you haven't been dealing with it for some time it's a matter of standing up for yourself um and not allow others to to dictate your life in other words so with all that being said i hope that was helpful so i don't know if you're the individual who's inside the house or i don't know if you're the individual that's waiting outside and waiting for somebody to come and bring you something to the car so I don't know whoever situation that is but um just know i kind of get like there was like power struggles in a sense i don't know because what i'm hearing spirit say is if you go into somebody's house it's a matter of you thank you spirit it's almost like if you go into somebody's house to go get something you know you should go and get it and not just sit on your 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 tush and waiting for them to bring it to you in other words even if it's out to the car or whatever so keep that in mind too because um yeah take it how it resonates and whoever that message is for but anyway i'm going to end it there uh uh i'm going to end it there so i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and i just wanted to get that message to you and uh hopefully you appreciate the message and appreciate the warning ahead of time so with all that being said i wish you all much love much light and peace and blessings till next time stay blessed bye